Hello and once again welcome to this five day motivational online camp and this is the fifth and the ultimate day of our program where our purpose has been to acquaint you with uh, the different varieties of things involved in mole concept. It's not that to touch every aspect which is impossible in five days. But once you are exposed to different types of reaction stoichiometry, compositional stoichiometry, then it will be extremely easy on your part to dive into any depth. So we had yesterday seen how you tackle problems on limiting reactant. You know, there are two types of reaction stoichiometry. One is involving no solution no data, concentration data, simply mass, mole, and if it is a gas, then volume. Gas volume is different from the solution volume. Solution volume needs density data for calculation, but gaseous volume needs the DMV, gram molar volume, 22.4 liters at STP for calculation. So often students confuse between the gaseous volume and they apply the 22.4 concept for liquid solution. So that is absolutely wrong. So you make sure that which volume you are handling if it is gaseous, the concept is different. Gas laws will come into picture. But if it is a solution, then simply density, mass by volume, you get the volume. And even the limit, and the second one is, uh, you know, in the first one, not involving any solution concentration data, mass, 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 volume. When I say volume, I mean gaseous volume, mole volume. And then yesterday we also took some, a little bit of volume, volume. That is what we call based on a Gay-Lussac's law of combining gaseous volumes. If you only think of the gaseous reactants and gaseous product, then their volume ratio is same as their stoichiometric coefficients ratio. In liter, in milliliter, in gallon, whatever it, the unit may be, because 22.4 get cancelled out and we are left with uh, the same stoichiometric coefficient with whatever identical unit that you will use. And the second type is the same stoichiometry involving solution. Maybe one of them is a solution having some molarity, some concentration. The other one might not be, might be a, a solid or anything, like pure substance having some mass or even an impure substance having some impurity. So you have to judiciously find out what you are dealing with, dealing with a solution, having some molarity, some concentration data, and the other reactant with some mass or some mole or some. So things will be, and at the end of yesterday's class, I told you that if you multiply, tell me what into what, you will get the number of moles. If you are given the molarity of a solution, then how do you know the quantity of that solute present? Ready, see the 
Volume in liter into molarity. Wonderful. Wonderful. I really, really am proud of you both. Unfortunately, uh, Ridhi uh, got sick yesterday. Uh, but have you discussed uh, Ridhi with your sis? Yes, sir. We can take a little more time to, to acquaint all this. Uh, so what I was saying is yes, volume in liter into molarity that will immediately turn into the quantity of the solute in terms of mole and we can convert it to mass. So that's the beauty. So let's start our journey today with uh, this problem and just for fun uh, to find out course here. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. This does not involve any solution. This volume is a gaseous volume. So first you make sure that you are handling gaseous volume, not the liquid solution volume. So the treatment will be different. One gram sample of an impure zinc on treatment with excess. I told you, unless it is a limiting reactant problem, definitely one of the reactants will be taken in excess. So that the other reactant whose data is given, that will be completely exhausted. This time, one gram is not a pure sample. It is an impure sample. We want to find the percentage of purity. And when we treat it with excess sulfuric acid, 250 ml of hydrogen was evolved, but not at STP, but at different temperature and pressure. Calculate the percentage of purity in the sample. You know, whenever, I, I think I forgot to tell you that whenever any gas is collected over water by the downward displacement of water, it carries some water vapor with it as impurity. So whatever pressure is given here, 780, it is not only the pressure of hydrogen gas, but it includes the pressure of the water vapor. That pressure of the water vapor is very funnily called aqueous tension. That is a primitive word still in use, uh, like mental tension. <laughs> aqueous tension is actually the pressure of water vapor, which is a handi in the kebab. So you have subtract karna hoga 780 minus 15, so that you get what is the pressure of the dry, pure hydrogen. Then I told you who can remind me how to convert a gas volume from a different temperature and pressure to the STP condition. I gave you a formula and I told you that uh, for now, forget about it, uh, how it is Der uh, derived, but simply you remember that. Rudra? Sir, we use uh, combined gas law that is P1 V1 P1 V1 by T1 equal to P2 V2 by T2. Precisely. P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2. So that P1 is 780 minus 15. Do not forget that if aqueous tension data is given, you have to subtract. 780 minus 15, that is P1. V1 is 250 ml. Let it be like that since it is a ratio. So the units should not be changed. Divided by 273 plus 20, that is 293, is equal to P2 is 760. That is the standard pressure, 760 into V2 that we are going to find divided by T2, 273, zero degree Celsius. Then you find V2. That 
we have to take into in our calculation. Because whatever equation you write Zn plus S2SO4 giving ZnSO4 plus hydrogen, you balance it. Of course, it is already balanced in this particular case. Then we are interested to find the actual mass of pure zinc. So the reverse way, the passive boys. Now, in the balanced equation, you will find I am not going to calculate this for you or I will not ask you to calculate, but it will be a task for you to solve at home. So it is already balanced. So, so one mole is 22,400 ml at STP is produced by 65.5 gram of zinc. It is given here. So in the reverse way, you find whatever is the STP value that you got by using the P1, V1 by T1 equals to P2, V2 by T2, the same value, uh, the STP value will be produced by how much of zinc? Maybe it, it will give you say 0.85 gram of zinc, but actual sample weight mass is one. So obviously the percentage of purity is nothing but the mass of the pure compound that we got by the reverse analysis, 0.85 by mass of the impure sample. In this case, it is fortunately one, but it could be 1.2, it could be two, whatever. The mass of the impure sample times 100. So this is 85% pure. Now I'm just giving a fictitious data, I don't know what is the value. Uh, so I give you as a task to find out uh, this. Say, supposing this is X, so this is X. This is the mass of impure sample, it's given. So raise your hands, who can uh, solve this at home? Adhyasa, welcome. Who can solve this at home? I think all of you. Ulak, you are late today. Ulak. Yes, I sir. think I didn't find you in in my uh, in in any one of my groups. How are you getting the link? Sir, I am from the group. Oh, okay. Uh, good. So this uh, you can do it at home. So your purpose first uh, thing you have to do is to convert the volume. If given at a different temperature and pressure to STP condition, then write the equation and see the data. The product data is given. So you make a reverse analysis to find out what is the amount of pure reactant, in this case zinc, that has been required for getting that much of volume of hydrogen at STP. Because this is this data is the molar data according to stoichiometry, but actual experiment is not molar. It is something different. So whatever hydrogen has been obtained, use that to get the equivalent amount of zinc that has been used. And then look to the data, sample data. And then it is actually the pure sample by impure sample mass times 100 is the percentage of purity. Now, I'm really, really not keen to continue on the stoichiometry level one. There are so many other aspects like POAC. I think if, if I save time, I will tell you uh, the interesting concept of POAC to deal with uh, 
a big numerical where you involve multiple reactions, maybe four or five reactions, one after the other, but you will find a particular element is percolated, is transmitted through a single product in each case, in each successive reaction till the last. In that case, it will be easy on your part just to apply the POAC concept, principle of atom conservation and solve the problem in one sec. That will, I will tell you. And I also, I will give you some other files for you to study of your own and practice. This was meant for a motivational program. Uh, and uh, I am happy to find that uh, in course of time, many other guys are also watching the video. Therefore, we have to make it a little more advanced. This is the last class. Now let us take this problem on solution involving ions. In this case, 100 ml, aliquot means a portion. Aliquot is called a portion. That means there was a stock solution having greater volume. And remember here we are dealing with the liquid volume, not the gaseous volume that we were dealing before in the previous question. This 100 ml aliquot of 0.2 m aqueous KOH is mixed with 100 ml of 0.2 m aqueous magnesium nitrate. Obviously, there will be a double displacement reaction where magnesium hydroxide will be precipitated. With your experience, you will be learning that which hydroxides are insoluble. If you look to the insoluble table that I gave you, that uh, all hydroxides are insoluble except alkali metals like sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, as well as calcium, barium, strontium from alkaline earth metals. Calcium is in the in the mid range as uh, not high solubility, not high insolubility, that is intermediate solubility. Well, magnesium hydroxide is really, really a precipitate insoluble. That's the reason you just throw out that and see how much of unreacted magnesium nitrate remains. And because definitely one of them is a limiting. You were handling limiting concept in mass, mass, mass volume. Uh, I mean, uh, in a case where there is no concentration. Here, you'll be dealing with the same thing, but with concentration. And you know, just by multiplying the volume of the solution with molarity, you get the quantity in terms of mole and get the analysis without changing into mass. You can also find the which one is the limiting reactant uh, through moles. Now, let's see that you tell me what is the number of, you know, I am fond of calculating in terms of, who is my, oh my God, what are you? in terms of millimoles, because the calculation becomes easier. I don't make it, uh, you know, milliliter. 0.1 into 0.2, it becomes 0 0.02, and addition, subtraction becomes, you know, it will need some, uh, either a calculator or some pen and paper. So I used to say millimoles. The millimoles tell me millimoles of KOH, how much? That means volume in milliliter into molarity is the number of millimoles. It is easier for calculation. So 100 into 0 0.2, how much? Uh, tell me how much. 
Rudra, you must uh, be very aggressive in your uh, response, interaction. Sir, 0 0.02 moles. I'm asking millimoles. Sir, uh, sir, sir, 20 millimoles. Yes. Rudra, you disappointed me. I told yesterday that volume in liter into molarity is the number of moles. But I am now today changing my style. The calculation is mostly uh, done in terms of millimoles. It is better to handle the calculation, subtraction, addition. Then finally, we can convert millimoles to moles. Just divide by 1000. You kill milli, you kill milli by dividing with by 1000. Now, the number of millimoles of KOH is 20. And tell me the number of millimoles of the other reactant. Oh, uh, uh, of magnesium nitrate, the other reactant. Tell me. Sir, 20 millimoles. Again, 20. Let me write down because some of you are uh, going slow. Doesn't matter. Today is the last class. I have to go uh, in my way with a moderate speed and optimum speed. Um, so 100 into 0.2 is 20. Same thing here, 100 into 0.2 is 20. But now let us write down the equation. Equation is a KOH plus Mg NO3 whole 2 gives you MgOH whole 2 plus, you know, this is KNO3. This is a double displacement reaction. And Ridhisiddhi, you might be always uh, getting some feel that humko to ye pata nahi tha. Aap kyu paresan hote ho? Ye motivational camp hai aapko jankari diya ja raha hai. Just to apprise th how things will go on. But you are a beginner. You will know many things and after some time you will know which compounds are soluble, which hydroxides are insoluble, you know everything. So, if that is the case, you have to now find out, uh, before that, you have to balance. Here, nitrate is 2, so you have to make it 2, so you have to also make it 2. So, the mole ratio is 2 is to 1, or millimole ratio also 2 millimole, 1 millimole. Now, if that is the case, what is the limit? Which is the limiting reactant? Accordingly, you have to find out the product. Tell me. 20, 20. 20 will need 40, but we don't have 40. If, to, if take 20, you that need potassium uh, hydroxide limiting reactant. If all magnesium nitrate will be consumed, then it will need the double of that 40. But we have only 20. Then magnesium nitrate will not be exhausted. Indirectly, we know KOH is the limiting reactant. Ke koila, who, who said potassium hydroxide? Ke koila? Rudra, yes. Or if you go in this way, if 2, 1, then 20 will need half of that 10. So we have a double of that. Magnesium nitrate is present abundantly, double of that. So all KOH will be consumed. So once we know that uh, the limiting reactant is uh, uh, this, I'm just writing down, this is the LR, then let us try to solve. If two gives one, because we will see and two, one, two millimoles, we just ignore magnesium nitrate data. Okay. We also take this, which is no how much of magnesium nitrate will be left out. So two consumes one, produces one, produces two. So we have 20, we'll consume 10, we'll produce 10, we'll produce 20. Now, if this goes, this goes, then there is no KOH now, but we had taken 20, we have 10 millimoles of magnesium 
nitrate excess. And this will not produce any ion. This is insoluble and we presume now that it will not produce any ion. So this 20 will produce ion because this is an ionic compound. All nitrates are soluble and here also all nitrates are soluble. So these are the two species which will produce the ions and we are asked to find out what is the concentration of the remaining uh, ions. What is the concentration of each ion remaining in the solution after reaction? So the answer is given here. We have nitrate ion, we have magnesium ion, we have potassium ion. So what you have to do is to add the total volume. What is the total volume after mixing? Two, 200 ml. Yes, the total volume after mixing is 200. The volume of the solution is 200 now. So in the 200 ml, we have to find out what will be the molarity of each ion. Now coming to uh, magnesium ion, tell me if 10 millimoles of magnesium ions are there and the stoichiometric ratio between magnesium and nitrate ion is 1 is to 2. So magnesium ion concentration will be 10 and nitrate ion concentration will be 2 times 20. 10 millimoles is magnesium nitrate. But we have to separate them into individual ions. So magnesium ion is same as magnesium nitrate. Nitrate ion is the double of magnesium nitrate. So let's write down that. So the concentration molarity is represented by a square bracket. So magnesium ion, uh, oh no, 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 first millimoles. Magnesium ion is 10 millimole and nitrate ion is 20 millimole. That is from magnesium nitrate because there is a common ion. Potassium nitrate also has nitrate ion. So from potassium nitrate, potassium ion, let us see, a, a potassium uh, is 20. So K plus is 20, NO3 minus is 20. Don't multiply again two. Already that stoichiometry has been done. So only look to the formula KNO3. So this will be 20 into 1, 20 millimoles. And nitrate ion also is 20 millimoles. Now, these are the unique ions, but these two are common. So, you have to add nitrate ion concentration total. Total, not concentration, millimoles. Kitna hua? This is Sir, 40 millimoles. 40, 40 millimoles. plus 20, 40 millimoles. Now, we have to find out the molarity of each ion. Now, just like we had done that molarity is the number of moles per divided by volume in liter. The same thing to say that molarity is the number of millimoles by volume in milliliter. The milli milli will cancel and that will be converted to moles per liter. So that is the trick that uh, you know, uh, intelligent students, elite students, they use milli concept to simplify calculation. So uh, let me write down uh, the same thing that molarity, once again, I write molarity is number of moles of solute by liter or number of millimoles of solute by milliliter. So obviously, I'm not writing down the language part. The upper part is for solute and, and the lower part is that of the solution. It is, it goes without saying. So, uh, so tell me now what is the molarity? Once you say molarity, you put a square bracket. 
that is the concentration in molarity. That is the symbol that we use, put a square bracket of that particular species. Now tell me, who can tell me what by what? What by what? Sir, may I? No. You are trespasser. You should be prosecuted. Anyone? Uh, Amlan? The 40 by 200. Precisely, Amlan is correct. 40 is the total number of millimoles. We have got it by adding the two from the two sources. And the total volume is 200. So now they are enjoying the total volume of 200. So uh, the, the number of millimoles of the solute, nitrate ion, and the total volume is 200. So it is 4 by 20, 1 by 5. So how much? 0 0.2 M. So let's see what is the answer given. Yeah, it is same. And then calculate what is the unique potassium, uh, magnesium ion because that is present only from one source. Ridhi Siddhi, tell me what by what? Hmm. 10 by 200. Precisely. Aapko itne der kyun laga? Kyunki magnesium was 10 and total volume is same for all spaces. They are enjoying the same volume. So in this case 10 by 200. So how much? 1 by 2. 1 by 2. 1 by 2 in your village. 0 0.05. Who 10. said 1 by 2? Stand up on the bench. Uh, this is 0 0.05. Let's see the answer. Uh, no, this one. Yeah, correct. And then coming to find out what is the potassium ion concentration. So tell me. Yes, uh Koi Bo. Adyasa. Nasta. Aratrika Koilo. Twenty by two hundred. Precisely. Twenty by two hundred. Yes, precisely because potassium ion is twenty. So twenty by two hundred, that will give you uh one by ten. That is equal to point one molar. So uh yeah, it's correct. So I showed you that how easily you can handle if you have clear understanding uh, that the precipitate is out, is out from the solution. That will not produce any ion. So the ions which are there inside the solution is due to the unreacted species. The limiting is gone. The excess one, whatever excess you calculate, and the product which is ionic and which is aqueous, soluble in water. Take that. And according to stoichiometry, if supposing it is aluminum nitrate, nitrate ion concentration will be three times. Accordingly, you find out the individual ions, millimoles or moles. From now on, if you are really a intelligent, an intelligent guy, you will love to calculate in terms of milli. Millimole by milliliter is molarity. So in other words, number of millimoles is nothing but equal to the volume in milliliter into molarity. So that is why I said 100 into 0 0.2. I didn't make it 0.1, 0.2, then 0 0.02. This you know calculation becomes a little tedious and, and maybe we, we commit a mistake. Here, the chance of committing mistake is less. Now let's go to the, uh, uh, raise your hands who have understood this question. So that if we can go ahead fast, then I will get some time to come back to POSC. Adhyasa, <coughs> Adhyasa, add, Vishwajit kai bujilani, Vishwajit, Adhyasa, take it. Adhyasa, ah, see, we are taking. How to take it? Do no, 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 no,
थकब मान घंटा पर्यटन घंटा ना अदिका आज तो लास्ट डे देखा जाऊ कौन हो यहाँ तुम निजे कर सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम तुम निजे कर आंसर दिया है नाइंटी थ्री एम एल अफ जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव एम मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड नाउ यू माइट बी वंडरिंग दैट मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन अर्लियर केस वी वी डिसरिगार्डेड बट देन हाउ वी प्रिपेयर ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड it is a really a contrasting uh, situation uh, is added to 57 ml of 0.m nitric acid what is the concentration of magnesium nitrate it is, it is asking not the ion concentration in state the entire molecule magnesium nitrate after the reaction now see magnesium hydroxide is insoluble for a general sense but if it is a dilute solution it has some solubility so 0.15 is a very dilute solution so that much it can remain in solution so you might ask me that have we not encountered with some error here some magnesium hydroxide which is precipitated out of that a little bit will be definitely uh, there because 200 ml solution is there and um, magnesium hydroxide is precipitated so how much magnesium ion from that precipitate will be there will be very very small very very small that you will be learning in class 12 in your solubility product principle not class 12 class 11 which often students neglect is a very fascinating topic and, and and today let me take you uh, the opportunity to tell you no 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 i will not spend time that you will find in most of the important topics thermodynamics equilibrium including ionic equilibrium and uh, organic stereochemistry nomenclature isomerism important topics you will find my video you go to my playlist wherever you study if you have any difficulty in the concepts you just look to my playlist you will find uh, different topics like stereo isomerism like uh, ionic equilibrium like thermodynamics like chemical bond like uh periodic classification so most of the important topics i have videos multiple videos maybe periodic classification 15 videos chemical bond 20 videos so every aspect of chemical bond required for a student aspiring for iit advanced or neat neat is a relatively an easier uh, test compared to the iit neat and uh, iit uh, sorry the je mains they are of same standard but i iit advanced je advanced is definitely something which needs uh, uh, some advanced knowledge so you'll get everything and uh, as you might be wondering uh, somebody is talking about his youtube channel uh, he should talk about subscribing to my channel yes yes i also do so uh, i uh, i'm sure some of you must have subscribed my channel uh, by now but some of you if not subscribed yet and if you find the topics interesting you do subscribe so that it will motivate the producer of the videos to produce more and more videos of times my uh, you know those who watch my videos sometimes they request to prepare a video on this aspect one guy 
not from Odisha, from somewhere else, maybe in Chennai or somewhere, he was really impressed with uh, oh, a particular aspect of ionic equilibrium, where I dealt with the determination of uh, pH of an, a, an amphoteric salt like sodium bicarbonate. Because the bicarbonate ion has two properties. It has one acidic hydrogen H plus ion having some acid dissociation constant. And it will also be basic by reacting with water to produce OH minus ion. So uh, whichever will dominate over the other and how much the dominating property will be left out after the cancellation of H plus and OH minus neutralization. So that is a very tricky thing that uh, I uh, dealt with a particular video. Now that guy, he said, yes, I understood how you told, but I have some observations. Can you please explain? So for him and maybe for others too, I had to prepare another video where I explain in finer details why we have approximated this? Why you have neglected this for calculation purpose? So that he became utterly happy and 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 well, so his utter thankfulness towards me. That, that's what I'm saying because uh, I'm more interested in this city now uh, when I am almost. Um, I mean, retired, uh, in, in, in the real sense, I'm not, but uh, I'm now more inclined to, to produce study contents for the future generation to benefit. Uh, and therefore, those who are uh, uh, uranium hourlies, they will, should not hesitate to take my help at any time. Uh, your need, wherever you are. Now, I think we had completed uh, this. Ha, huh. I was talking about this magnesium hydroxide here. You have to presume that these are uh, ionic and soluble. But one of them will be limiting, no doubt, when dono ka data diya hua hai, I have told you. Isme kya hai? Who can tell me a Hindi uh, statement that uh, I told you that if the data for both the reactants are given, then humko lagega kya? Ridhi Siddhi kya lagega? Koon bata sakta hai? Mene kya kaha tha? Agar ek reactant ka data agar humko mil jai, तो हम इसका कुंडली निकाल देंगे कुंडली निकाल निकाल देंगे हम कितने अदर रिएक्टेंट इसको कन, ये कंज्यूम किया कितने प्रोडक्ट्स हर कोई प्रोडक्ट्स कितने कितने अमाउंट का फॉर्मेशन हुआ ये सब हम कुंडली निकाल सकते हैं लेकिन दोनों का क्यों दिया है तो मैंने क्या कहा था रुद्र सर दाल में कुछ काला है दाल में इस करेक्ट दाल में जरूर कुछ काला है तो इसका मतलब ये ये लिमिटिंग रिएक्टेंट का क्वेश्चन है आपको गौर से देखना पड़ेगा इस दोनों में से रियली really कौन सा रिएक्टेंट कंप्लीटली कंज्यूम हुआ है इसके तहत इसके हिसाब से हमको प्रोडक्ट निकालना है और कितने अदर रिएक्टेंट बचा है इसको भी हम निकालना पड़ेगा अगर जरूरत हो तो इस टाइप का प्रॉब्लम में जैसे हमने देखे थे हुआ था तो आप घर में करेंगे क्या मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ये सॉल्यूशन फॉर्म में था वहां प्रिसिपिटेड आया था लेकिन यहां आपको दिया गया है सॉल्यूशन फॉर्म में एंड uh, uh, अगर सॉल्यूशन नहीं होता तो ये मोलारिटी नहीं दिया होता क्योंकि प्रिसिपिटेट का इनसोल्यूबल का कोई मोलारिटी नहीं होता है प्लस नाइट्रिक एसिड एंड दिस इज ए न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन यू गेट मैग्नीशियम नाइट्रेट this is ag, a water is a liquid, it doesn't produce any ion, and then you balance it, this is uh, nitro, and I think uh, 
and this is 2. So again, 1 is to 2 ratio. You find the number of millimoles here, find the number of millimoles here, find the limiting reactant. Then one of them, the limiting one will be 0. The other one will be excess. You find out that water is no ions. Then magnesium nitrate, aap dekhye kitne millimoles hua. So, because only magnesium nitrate it is asking, you need not have to find out what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, nitrate ion left out here. Hydrogen ion left out. It's not asking to find out the residual hydrogen ion constant. Supposing this is the limiting reactant. I don't know. You have to find out which is the limiting reactant. Supposing this is the limiting reactant, some H plus ion, some nitrate ion will be left out. But it is not asking about the concentration of all nitrate ions. Had it asked about that, then you take the nitrate ion from here and also here, add them and total volume 93 plus 57 and divide by that, you will get the nitrate ion concentration. But he's asking magnesium nitrate, so only this data you'll be taking. Can you do that? Raise your hands, be prompt. Up itne Dima Dima ho to Mujhe motivate karna padega apko. Me kusis karna ho apko motivate karne ke liye. Lekin isi isap se apko bhi mujhe motivate karna hai. Dekhiye. Ye kusin dekke apka nature call de sakta hai. नंबर 1 का कॉल हो या नंबर 2 का कॉल हो ये तो आपके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है गट का स्टेबिलिटी uh, के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है नंबर 1 uh, तो नेचुरल प्रोसेस है नंबर 2 गट के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है अगर गट स्ट्रांग हो तो यू कैन रेजिस्ट नंबर 2 कॉल बट गट इज वीक देन मे बी लेकिन आपको याद है आप जानते हैं ये हर कोई जानता है I don't know whether you are convinced about it or not आप रस्ते में जा रहे हो एक कुत्ता भोग रहा है तो आपके आपको देख के वो आपको पीछा करता है दौड़ता है आपके पीछे तो आप डर जाते हो आप इस इससे बचने के लिए आप जोरों से दौड़ते हो भागते हो कुत्ता भी आपको पीछा करता है उसी स्पीड में थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा लेस स्पीड में जाता है लेकिन हमको लगता है वो आ जाएगा मुझे काटेगा हमको लगता है तो हम जितने हमारा है शरीर में जितना दम है उसको लगा के हम भागते हैं लेकिन असल से आप जानते हो अगर आप पीछे मुड़ के थोड़ा सा उसको देखो और सिंपली बोलो है वो उसका जो टेल है ना उसको घुमा के वो पीछे चला जाएगा जो डर गया समझो हार गया मैं तो वो टर्म नहीं यूज करूंगा जो हार गया डरना मना है डर के आगे क्या है जीत जीत है जीत है तो ये इतना बड़ा प्रॉब्लम देख के कभी कभी नेचर बुलाता है आपको लेकिन नेचर भी इतना रूथलेस नहीं है Nature is very kind to us. Rather, we are ruthless to the nature. Dekhte hai, hai. 50 ml sample solution containing ferrous ion. It's talking about ferrous ion. We don't know whether it is in the form of uh, ferrous sulfate or whatever. Ferrous ion is titrated. You know, uh, titration is an experiment which is done in a slow manner and the volume of one of the 
reactants, which is taken in a burette. That instrument is called a burette, which is kept on a stand and you have a opening. They slowly open the that knob. So drop drop wise, the reactant will fall down on a conical flask containing the other reactant. And the other reactant, you have taken the exact volume by using a pipette, say 25 ml or 20 ml. Uh, pipettes of different capacities are available in the market. So this is an exact uh, volume measurement of uh, the reactant, two reactants. One reactant is taken a fixed volume and the other reactant is just found out on the basis of experiment. You just stop for the adding the other reactant from the burette once the reaction is complete. But the question is, how will you know that the reaction is just complete? For that, you have to take the help of a, an indicator. You'll be knowing that several indicators are used for acid-based titration. They use indicators like methyl orange, methyl red, phenolphthalein, litmus. So many indicators are used for getting the exact end point where the reaction stops really by the drastic color change of the indicator. But for redox titration, when one of them is, an, a, redu is a reducing agent, the other one is an oxidizing agent, you are titrating, finding out the exact volume of one of them while the other one is known and the concentrations of uh, both are known. In that case, or the concentration of one is unknown and by knowing the exact volume that you add till the end point from the burette, you can find out what will be the molarity of the unknown solution just by making a stoichiometric calculation balanced equation that we'll be doing now. Never mind if we cannot complete today whatever questions that I have uh, collected for you. So we are left with uh, one, two, three, four, and five. I don't think the reason why we can't. We will and also we'll be uh, taking back uh, some problems on the level one uh, stoichiometry, which does not involve any solution concentration. So, फिर एक बार चलो हम पढ़ते हैं. 50 ml of solution containing ferrous ion is titrated, means reacted with 0.0216 molar KMnO4 solution. It required 20.62. That is the burette reading. That end point comes. We don't bother about the details of titration that you'll be doing in your respective schools. And here, there is no indicator. KMnO4 is, is such a versatile purple color reagent that once you continue to add potassium permanganate, the solution, the color of the purple color will vanish continue to vanish as long as there is ferrous ion. But the moment the reaction stops, a single drop excess of KMnO4 will render the entire solution purple, as we call violet. And that is the end point. For KMnO4 titration, no foreign indicator is used. But for others, selected indicators are used. This is a redox titration, not a acid-based titration where you can use phenolphthalein or methyl orange or methyl red. You will be knowing that that is for acid-based titration. But this is redox titration. You have different indicators for different redox titrations. For this, no indicator is used. k 4 is a self-indicator. So, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
This is the reaction. And I will ask you to balance it by ON method or ion electron method, whatever will be there. Uh, we'll be balancing that. We'll be doing till end. This is unbalanced. You are asked to balance it. Maybe Ridhi Siddhi, you can balance by ON method, which we learned in a doubts clear session, or by ion. Uh, because, you know, uh, sometimes H plus ion and water is not given. It is therefore, I recommend to go for the ion electron method. How do you know that H plus ion will come in the left side? Yeah, often it comes. Water comes in the right side. Often, often, often. But in case of OH minus ion, most of the times OH minus ion and water, they come in same side. That is why ion electron method is uh, more uh, preferred to the ON method when you are dealing with an ionic equation. What is What was the concentration of ferrous ion in the original sample? Is asking A. What volume of 0.015 m potassium dichromate is a new titration solution would it take to do the same titration? And the reaction this time is dichromate ferrous gives you chromium 3 plus and ferric ion, acidic medium unbalanced. So the answer, the original ferrous ion is this smaller and the volume of the second titration is 24.72. Now, before we start, I would like you to balance this equation first. So, up balance karne ke beech mein, mein yu gaya, yu aya. And raise your hands who have completed. You may be leave little space and balance the other one. Same acidic medium. If you have practiced a little bit, then you will do in a flash. Koi tension nahi lene ka, tension dene ka hai. So agar nahi kar pai to kya hua, mein kar dunga. So, lekin aap Aapka copy dekhiye, copy dekhiye aap kijiye how, you know, uh, first equalize the element other than O and uh, H, then equalization of oxygen by adding water, then equalization of hydrogen by adding H plus ion, then equalization of charge, that will be thing. So you separately do the reduction step and oxidation step and then add
Hello and welcome. Rudra balance karchi how ke balance kar nahi. Gote ke karchi how many of you have done one at least? Okay, but one to one darkar hava. Ridhi kahila it kaun hava? Sir, M N O minus plus. M N minus na M N O four minus. M N O four minus. Plus eight H plus. Yes. Plus five F E two plus. Uh -huh. Gives M N two plus. Plus four H two O plus five F E three plus. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now, Prathama Tatala Koriba. It's very simple. 50 ml Nagala Tara concentration ame janine, molarity janine, ferrocyan Nagala. And she kete khaila, na 20.62 ml of ethiki m k menu 4 phyla. Talabatuan e dita go gunikri, k menu 4 ro amount bar kordova. Leko, millimole of moiti lekuchi. Millimole of K minus four. Kete into kete na twenty point six two khaila into zero point zero two one six. Tal kete asla. Tobe rudra dekhle ta millimole re kholle kete advantage. Agya sir. Kete asla. Hmm. Jee jane kuo. 0 0 0 0.445 How nice do you know? 0.443. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? How Ratio which one millimole, how much? Five millimole. Tahale, I am already balanced. Kori We know the ratio. How the reactants combine completely? One is to five. Tahale, zero point four four five three. Khaybo kete into five? Kete khaybo? Five re gunla? Into five kete? So, sir, 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 2.2265. 
ठीक रे देखो आ गया सर जीरो फोर फोर फाइव सो दैट इज द आंसर गिवन हियर आल्सो व्हिच सेज दैट वी आवर कैलकुलेशन इज करेक्ट यू गॉट इट रेज योर हैंड्स प्रीति सिद्धि गॉट इट प्रीति सिद्धि यस सर नाउ एठी कौन कले एठी एम एन ओ फोर माइनस रोटाल डाटा देल्यूम दे मोलारीटी मानते गुणी दे तार आमाउंट पाइले मिली मोल रेटार केवल भल्यूम दे मोलारीटी डजन मैटर आम भाग मापुर देखीदे खाऊ के खाई तेहत कम्प्लीट रियाक्शन टाइट्रेस मान कम्प्लीट रियाक्शन कौटा एक्सेस नुए कि कौटा ये नुए कम्प्लीट रियाक्शन टाइट्रेसन सो आम को फिफ्टी एम एल रेकी जदि फिफ्टी एम एल रेक तार मोलारीटी के मिलीमोल्स बै मिली लिटर इज इक्वल टू मोलारीटी दे व्हाट भल्यूम अफ आउ गोटे अक्सीडा यूज है ब्यूरेट्रे इनस्टेड अफ केम एन ओ फोर हि दि दि इंडिकेटर इज नट सेल्फ इंडिकेटर यूज हुए जान परवर्त काल डाइफिनाइल आमीन और एन फिनाइल एंथ्रानिक एसिड सम ऑर्गेनिक इंडिकेटर्स आर यूज्ड सो दैट इट बिकम्स ग्रीन एंड इट बिकम्स कलरलेस सो फॉरगेट अबाउट द इंडिकेटर यूज्ड वी आर नाउ गेटिंग द ट्रेनिंग हाउ टू हैंडल स्टोक्योमेट्री नॉट द डिटेल्स ऑफ टाइट्रेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हाट वॉल्यूम ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पोटासियम डायक्रोमेट सोल्यूशन वुड इट टेक टू डू द सेम टाइट्रेशन that means it's same 50 ml of ferrous iron but the concentration is already known same titration you know we didn't know the concentration of uh, ferrous iron now we know the concentration of ferrous iron so some 50 ml same 0. Point now 0.0445 will be using that now the molarity of potassium dichromate is given you are asked to find the volume that's it yes has anyone finished the uh, the, the the balancing part raise your hands potassium dichromate plus h plus acidic medium means h plus plus say ferrous iron gives cr3 plus plus fe3 plus plus what see method re karibo pre reduction step pre oxidation step amlan koilo the cr2 o72 minus plus 6 fe2 plus plus 14 h plus ha you are used to 2 cr3 plus plus ha. 6 fe3 plus plus 7 h2 ठीक अछि रुद्र आज्ञा सर सो के प्रैक्टिस करिवो जो मेथड रे हम सिखि थिले सो नाउ इन दिस केस फेरोस आयन रो मिलीमोल हैला 50 into 0. पॉइंट हम ऑलरेडी बाहर कर सारि छे प्रथम टाइट्रेशन रो बाहर कर सारि छे 0.0445 so let us see what is the millimoles of kete asila are calculator dhoro hold you 2.225 sir 2.225 etiki millimole ferrous khaila kintu amaro ratio hochi 1 is to 6 तो छि खाऊ एक टू पॉइंट टू टू फाइव खाइब के Yes, sir. Two point two two five by six. 
एतिकी खाइबो डाइक्रोमेट किंतु आमे जानिछु वॉल्यूम बाहर करबा को पड़िबो किंतु मोलारिटी इज गिवन पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट रो मोलारिटी दै छी 0.015 सो इफ वन ऑफ देम इज नोन 0.015 एम होची पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट रो डाइक्रोमेट आयन रो अ वॉल्यूम पचाछि से सो सिंस मोलारिटी इज इक्वल टू मिलीमोल्स by volume in milliliter so volume in milliliter is equal to millimoles by molarity so millimoles kete bharla na 2.225 au molarity of the potassium dichromate solution which is same as dichromate ion because k2cr2o7 re gote cr2o7 achi so potassium dichromate ro se bhi dichromate dei dichi direct ane potassium dichromate ro molarity jaha dichromate ro molarity sei ha so the whole two thanta two times body thanta so you will be playing with all these once you are clear in your concepts so 2.225 by volume hochi uh, so molarity hochi 0.015 so tell me what is the volume that has been consumed for complete oxidation of 50 ml of 0.0445 kete 148.333 1 point 148.333 ko uno mato laguni answer se achi au kar kon bharla 148.3 148.3 udra yes sir agya sir answer kete achi सर मिली मोल्स टा जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन जीरो एट होगा आ कूड़ा इड़ा इड़ा गुनी ले नो सर सर से टा तो आयरन रहना ना सर इड़ा 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 यस सर आ एटी बोल अच्छी से कहूँ ची एटी पॉइंट थ्री सेवन नो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेवन अरे ये बहुत हाँ ना हमो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन होगा ना सर मिलीलीटर तो 2.225 टा सर एठी मिलीमोल टा में Cr2O7 2 माइनस रो वर्क करछ किंतु हमें एठी रो प्रयोग करछ यस सर ओ ए फी रो केते खाई छी की ए फी रो पूरा खाई छी 2.225 से किंतु Cr2O7 रो 0.370 हमरो 50 ml ऑफ Fe2+ सर जोटा रे मिलीमोल बाय मोलारिटी का लेस है सेठी बते बोले छ ओहो आ मिलीलीटर इज इक्वल टू मिलीमोल बाय मोलारिटी सो हो एटा देखिलो बोधे कोन म अरे एटा पर पॉइंट 037 म एठी कोन टिपी देली एक डाइक्रोमेटर नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हो छि गधा माने मु निजे को निजे कहू छी एटा परा खाइ छी 0.37 ओ अमला तमे कोन 0.03 कहतलो गधा 0.3708 तो मु रिदि सिदि भूल कहितली तमे सेइटा पॉइंट आउट करिया कथा सर डाइक्रोमेटर तो भारला 0.3708 अपन कोन 2.225 लेखिले सेटा तो फेरस आयन से तो तार 6 भाग रु भागे डाइक्रोमेट काउ छी तार 6 भाग रु भागे हला 0.3708 डिवाइडेड बाय 0.015 एबे को आंसर केते हला सर 24.72 यस 24. केते 72 कि मिलीलीटर सो ड्यू रेट रे देउ हमें करिबा एंड पॉइंट आसला बेल को 24.72 मिलीलीटर डाई पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट खर्च हबो जहारो मोलारिटी देछि 0.015 राइट इज इट नॉट इजी इज इट रियली डिफिकल्ट नो सर आउ तो के कहिलो नि रुद्र खाली कहिला जे कि ट्रेसपासर गोटे हेलो क्लास 11 गाइस नो सर नो सर well i will definitely congratulate uh, the uh, the newcomers like ridhi sidhi amlan apulak uh, and others who have 
the capacity to sustain up to the last date. It is really, really impossible. And that speaks volumes of your credibility and uh, you have passed in huge score points. Achha, amajiba, etaku, the amount of barium sulfate formed upon mixing 100 ml of 20.8% barium chloride solution with 50 ml of 9.8% sulfuric acid solution. That will be how much? This is a very simple one. And it is saying if nothing is given, you will consider it is a W by V. If it is a W by W, it will be given by weight, by weight. But sometimes in many problems, density data will not be given. And you will be sure that that percentage is nothing but volume percentage, W by V. Since it is the beginning, so I have written there, but uh, you are not given that hint that take the percentage as W by V percentage. You will know because no density data is given. How will you find uh, unless the density data is given how to find um, yeah, this? So, the reaction is between barium chloride and sulfuric acid and you get an insoluble precipitate, white precipitate of barium sulfate. And like this. Now, look to the reaction. This is a reaction stoichiometry. Uh, barium chloride reacts with sulfuric acid or any sulfate, doesn't matter, to give you barium sulfate precipitate plus HCl. And the balanced equation is 2SCL. This is 1 is to 1. Now to find out which one is given uh, the total, you can find out the millimoles. 100 ml of this, uh, both are given. That means it is a dalme kala type of problem. If both are given, then undoubtedly it is a limiting reactant problem. You have to find out which one is the limiting reactant and use that to find barium sulfate. The product is asking the amount of barium sulfate formed by mixing this. Now, there is no need to find molarity. Percentage means 100 ml. So 100 ml contains 20.8 gram. So that also is the amount taken, uh, sorry, the volume taken. So that means the mass of barium chloride taken in that 100 ml solution is 20.8 gram. Because percentage means 100 ml solution contains this many gram. And we have not taken 50 or 75. We have taken same 100 ml. And that was mixed with sulfuric acid. So what is the mass of sulfuric acid taken? Is uh, this time it will be less. If 100 ml of sulfuric acid solution contains 9.8 gram, but we have taken half of it. So 50 ml will contain how much? 4.9 gram. 4.9 gram. So this, these amounts are taken. For barium chloride, it is 20.8 and for sulfuric acid, it is 4.9. You can convert this into moles or else you have to find out its molar mass. So that one one mole ratio in terms of mass, it will be 137 is barium is given, two chlorine is 71. So this is divisible, so it's very interesting problem. Usually problems are given in, in this manner. So one mole means 208 gram is consuming 98 gram, two plus 32 plus 16 fours are 64. So this is relationship in terms of mass. In terms of mole, one is to one. In terms of mass, 208 gram will need 98. Now let us take any one. Whether we can know directly or indirectly, doesn't matter. So supposing barium chloride is in the left side, so we take the barium chloride data. So 20.8 gram will require the 10 times less, 9.8 gram. But we have only 4.9 gram. 
So obviously all barium chloride will not be consumed. So indirectly, which one is the limiting reactant? Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. This is the sulfuric acid. Obviously, sulfuric acid is the limiting reactant. Had you done in the other way around, keeping sulfuric acid in the left or in the reverse manner, 98 is consuming 20, 208. So 4.9 will consume less than 20. You will find much less than 20.8. Therefore, all 4.9 gram of sulfuric acid will be consumed. So whether you can find directly or indirectly, it doesn't matter. 208 is wanting 98 gram. 20.8 will be wanting 9.8. But we have 4.9 gram in that. So uh, all barium chloride will not be exhausted. So the barium chloride khatam nahi hoga, iska matlab the other reactant has to finish, has to be exhausted. So indirectly we know that sulfuric acid is the limiting reactant. Then we start problem. One mole or 98 gram is giving, uh, let's write down 137 plus sulfate ion is 96, 32 plus 64. Uh, sir, 233. Yes, 233 gram. So if 98 gram is giving 238 gram, we will not uh, uh, consider this because that is not the limiting reactant. So this is the limiting reactant. So 98 gram is, is giving 233 gram. So 4.9 gram uh, here. I don't have space. Kya karu mein? Kya karu mein? 64 is giving uh, to, to uh, sorry, barium sulfate. So if uh, 98 gram is giving 233 gram, so actually we have taken 4.9 gram. So you'll be giving how much? 233 by 98 into 4.9. This will be 20. So this will be how much? Sir, 11.65 gram. So the mass of barium sulfate that will be formed by this reaction, which is a limiting reactant type of problem, will be 11.65. Agar tum barium chloride so 20.8 gram leke aap calculate karte, to aapko jada uh, answer aajata. Kyunki 20.8 khatam nahi hua hai. You can find out how much barium chloride has been khatamed. It will be much less than 20.8. We are not interested because it's not asking to add up and find the concentration of the ion. Then we would have definitely found out how much barium chloride has been consumed and subtracted, how much left out and then added the common species. So, आप uh, मुझे लगता है ये अरत्रिका uh, अरत्रिका are you here still continuing or you have left yes sir uh, कोई बात नहीं रिदी सिदी आपको अभी भी सुनाई नहीं देता no sir we can hear now तो अभी मुझे लगता है uh, मुझे एक uh, और Drink chahiye, drink chahiye. Drink ka matlab hai, there are several types of drinks. There are soft drinks, cold drinks, hot drinks, hard drinks. So, um, if you are a minor, you should not take hard drinks. But the moment you become 18, you drink beer, drink, drink wine. Because in Western countries, in US, uh, uh, only when you are a minor, you are not supposed to drink hard beer, wine, and other hard drinks. But once you become an adult, you are allowed to go to a bar or can drink with your parents at home. Here in India, you know, even if the children are adult, they drink in their friend circle, the parents, they drink in their friend circle. There is no question of revealing uh, the secrets to one another and uh, that is will you say is a better culture than theirs i i don't uh, i keep it uh, mm, a 
a subjective one what you think is better i might think not better so it's very subjective in my opinion it should be open the relationship between once you are adult you are on the threshold threshold of becoming adults that is why i am telling you that once you are adults your parents should be friends really friends with you so that there must not be any secret between you and your parents yes if your family considers that alcohol taking is not uh, good for health particularly in, in hot countries like india um, africa and uh, to some extent middle east and all that you know alcohol is not needed for the body but it is con it is uh, manufactured by companies government is uh, uh, earning a real money from that so it has to promote and we have to drink because it gives temporary temporary uh, excitement so uh, i'm not opposed to that the temporary ex excitement is always uh, not bad uh, even if we take a cup of tea that also gives up uh, gives a temporary uh, excitement some sort of kick uh, that we get out of caffeine that is present so everything is subjective as you grow older become an adult i urge upon you to have a, your own thinking power you just live in a hostel or in a, in a maze you develop your own thinking way and undoubtedly the spirit that exists in all of you uh, and in me everyone everyone's spirit is the same it will drive you towards the spirituality whether you like it or not you will be driven unknowingly towards the same goal coming back to from as i used to call pravachan back to our work is it not interesting is it not easy that we have completed yes raise your hands Om oh, MT, you are very miser in raising your hand. Only three, three, three hands. Ridi, Sidi, Aratrika. Ridi, Kun, Thegri, Hatha, Tegu. Ah, bhala lag guchi. Apna kaho chundi, bujho chundi, bujhi jau chhu. A gola pare kono vada kusu kichhi mona rahi ho. Well, mona no ro. But we are having a motivational camp. It's not a coaching program. That you will be joining in your respective places that you have chosen. and i wish you i wish you all the best but i'm there you will remember me whenever you need my assistance in chemistry um well i'm i'm just uh, saying well well because i'm desperately needing a hot drink i told i have ordered my better half to help me in, in, in having a drink but she is a bit late koi baat nahi hum maze karenge arjiya sayari mein सारी में चेहरे पे लिख के लाया हूँ तुमसे क्या मांगू मैं तुम खुद ही समझ लो Oh. 
मौला 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 मेरे मौला तमें कह मौला 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 दरारे दरारे माथे पे मौला मरम्मत मुकद्दर की कर दो मौला मेरे मौला तेरे दर पे झुका हूँ मिटा हूँ बना हूँ तेरे दर पे झुका हूँ मिटा हूँ बना हूँ मरम्मत मुकद्दर की कर दो मौला जो भी तेरे दर आया झुकने जो सर आया मस्तियां पिए सबको झूमता नजर आया जो भी तेरे दर आया झुकने को झुकने जो सर आया मस्तियां पिए सबको झूमता न जर आया प्यास लेके आया था दरिया ओ भर लाया प्यासा लेके आया था दरिया ओ भर लाया नूर की बारिश में भीगता सतर आया जो अमोला मोला मोला मेरे मोला अरे चाका ही की आसिला नही मुंडा मोरो खरा पेला ओके 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 पुलक ओके पुलक इज नो मोर आई बेन नो मोर इन द क्लास कोई बात नहीं आई वंडर व्हेन अदर गाइस माइट बी वाचिंग दिस वीडियो माइट बी फॉरवर्डिंग इट बिकॉज वंस द मैडनेस ऑफ दिस मैड टीचर स्टार्ट्स देन द व्यूअर मस्ट हैव मस्ट बी finding that knowing that so must be forwarding for the estimation of nitrogen 1.4 gram of an organic compound was digested by an apparatus by a method called geldels method you will be knowing that we are least concerned about the names and all that our interest is to calculate the chemical calculation based on the stoichiometry now one thing i i didn't tell you deliberately in in this program is the equivalent concept the normality is another mode of expressing the concentration and that is called the equivalent concept why i didn't tell you because in earlier times the equivalent concept was very popular but when many complicated reactions multiple multi step reactions they were used the equivalent concept becomes gradually redundant and in us in schools nor in colleges nowhere now equivalent concept is taught because the mole concept is more powerful well for a single titration when you are handling only one reactant with one reactant in solution form normality is very elegant equivalent concept is very elegant but i i will definitely recommend to go for molar method balance this equation and look to the molar ratio 1 is to 4 or 2 is to 5 and accordingly if one is given you find the other and then find the molarity or the volume of the solution as required that is much more uh reliable than the equivalent concept based on normality i deliberately avoid because nowadays i am not at all but i i used to tell at a later stage because by chance if you get normality of a solution you can just 
You can just convert it to molarity by a suitable N factor, as we call the valency factor or the N factor that you can clearly know what is the N factor. Because once uh, you know the oxidation number concept, what is the change in oxidation number per molecule? That is the N factor for a redox reaction, an oxidant or a reductant, and the valency of that particular ion, a particular substance or ion. That is the N factor for the non-redox reaction. So once you just divide by the N factor, the normality will be converted to molarity. And I suggest, I advise to go by the mole method rather than the equivalent method. There will be a lot of risk elements involved in tackling an equivalent concept if it is a multiple step reaction. So why to run a risk of uh, getting a wrong answer at the end? So I think Mera Mukaddar Sikandar ho gaya. Eight minute. <laughs> Mil gaya, mil gaya, mil gaya, mujhe chai mil gaya, mil gaya, ke saath mein kha jaunga, pi jaunga. Now you are left with only eight of you. Doesn't matter. We are almost at the end. Sanvi, you are still existing. SS, I am SST. You are SS. One T more. The Rani is existing. Rani is uh, uranium already. Asadeko. I am the Saridi. मु कहें कि पॉस करें नहीं वीडियो टेको पॉस करिएगा मध्य अच्छी बात तो हरे मु पॉस कर लीजिए आओ कोई पिला मने पके लेने समान सो वो सुवरे भाषी वाले अमेत तो सुवरे था वो कुछ पढ़ान अथले भी मु ए टाइप रो हरकत करे सो स्टूडेंट्स लव टू वाच द मैग्नेस ऑफ द टीचर तो तबे कई मने पके लें गोला Sir, I am mute. Sir, I am mute. Sir, I I I am mute. I am I Nitrogen is a compound, re, organic compound. Re. Nitrogen is a percent. I am a percentage calculation. So, I am gram nitrogen. I am a compound. So, 1.4 gram was taken and it was digested in some method. And so, there is a reaction. Tar Kari -kari, ultimately, nitrogen is ammonia. Re converted kale. Organic compound 1.4 gram. Ray, Jetiki nitrogen element hila, 
तार अनुरूपी बा प्रपोर्सनेटली से कनभर्ट कले आमोनिया रूप से आम कनभर्ट कले आमोनिया टाक एबजर्व कले सब तक आमोनिया जो बाहर अर्गानिक कंपाउंड को ताकू आम रियाक्शन कर सिक्सटी एम एल अफ जीरो पॉइंट वन एम सलफरिक एसीड तो ये रियाक्शन है आमोनिया सागर सलफरिक एसीड मिसिले सल्ट है आमोनियम सलफेट है लिखा से लिखा तो आम जाणीशु एक्सेस नहीं चे सिक्सटी एम एल पॉइंट वन एम सलफरिक एसीड जाणिक एक्सेस नहीं चे कि मिलीमोल बड़ी पड़ के बड़ी पड़ता गोटे टाइट्रेसन कले कंप्लीट रिएक्शन करिया लगला ट्वेंटी एम एल पॉइंट वन एम एन एच फर कंप्लीट न्यूट्रलाइजेशन चल ला गाड़ी पछुआड़ ट्वेंटी इंटु पॉइंट वन हूँ टू टू मिलीमोल एन एच खाई रिएक्शन सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सांगे लिखिले आम जाना वन इज टू 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 सागर वन सल्फ्यूरिक एसीड खाऊँ सो टू मिलीमोल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड को खाई थी वन मिलीमोल सल्फ्यूरिक एसीड सो से ही एक्से बाकी आम नहीं छ मिलीमोल सिक्सटी इंटु पॉइंट वन छ मिलीमोल सल्फ्यूरिक एसीड नहीं बिफोर आमोनिया वाज एबजर्व से गोटे मिलीमोल एक्से रहा जना पड़ा आम जाल पक धरलु सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड जाल में जान लु जो वन मिलीमोल एक्से अच्छी छ मिलीमोल रु वन मिलीमोल माइनस कले पांच मिलीमोल सल्फ्यूरिक एसीड व्यवहार हो इन दि रियाक्शन बिटवीन एमोनिया एंड सल्फ्यूरिक एसीड तो से तार बालान्स इक्वेसन रू आम जापर के मिलीमोल एमोनिया खाई थी सो जना पड़गला आम मस को कनभर्ट करदे आमोनिया के बाहरी तो आम जाचे सतर ग्राम आमोनिया आमोनिया मलिकुलार मस हूँ सतर सेवेन्टीन ग्राम आमोनिया चौदह ग्राम नाइट्रोजेन अच्छी तेल से ग्राम जो बाहर आमोनिया के नाइट्रोजेन अच्छी जना पड़गला नाइट्रोजेन बाहर मन कर वन पॉइंट टू ग्राम ए सरी पॉइंट सेवेन ग्राम कि पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम तो से ही पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम नाइट्रोजेन टा कौ अच्छी ना वन पॉइंट फोर फोर ग्राम अफ दि अरिजिनाल अर्गानिक कंपाउंड सो व्हाट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ नाइट्रोजेन इन दि अरिजिनाल कंपाउंड इट इज पॉइंट सिक्स बाय वन पॉइंट फोर इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज ए वेरी सिंपल मेथड मत लगुच पॉइंट वन फोर बाहर कारण जो आंसर दे टेन परसेंट सो मत लगे पॉइंट वन फोर ग्राम बाहर अल्टीमेटली किए बुझे हाथ किलो डाक्टर हबार इच्छा ना इंजीनियर हबार इच्छा डॉक्टर तुम कि इंजीनियरिंग ब्रेन अच्छी नहीं नहीं इंजीनियरिंग ब्रेन थे डॉक्टर हेल्ले भल मुझे कहे यू कैन बी ए गुड सर्जन यू कैन डिसाइड अरे ठीक अच्छी दीदी सीधी आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू लिव टिल यू बिकम डॉक्टर एंड एंड ट्रीट मी खत्म नहीं होता हो देखो इटा लास्ट आउ सब फाइल दे देदेवी तुम निजे देख देख आम तल आड़ जावा आम कौन है नाइट्रोजेन थी गोटे कंपाउंड रे ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड रे ओसी लिखीदे ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड नाइट्रोजेन कार्बन हाइड्रोजेन जहाँ भी थी डज मैटर जैसे नाइट्रोजेन थी ये नहीं वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम ताको भिन्न भिन्न प्रोसेस रे जेलडाल्स मेथड रे आम आमोनिया रे कनवर्ट कले तो सब तक नाइट्रोजेन बर्तन आमोनिया हो ताकू डिजल्व कले कौन ना सिक्सटी मिलीलीटर अफ जीरो पॉइंट वन सलफ्यूरिक एसीड रे से कौन है रिएक्शन टा आमोनिया जुक्त सलफ्यूरिक एसीड इफ्स यू आमोनियम सलफेट लेख लेख लिखु ना ना से हाइड्रोक्साइड थी वाटर ही था हाइड्रोक्साइड न खाली आमोनियम सलफेट ये टू हम तो यहाँ भाग मैं टू इज टू वन छाड़ जी एक्सेस रहा आम नहीं सिक्सटी इंटु पॉइंट वन आम नहीं सिक्स मिलीमोल आम नहीं अरिजिनाल से निश्चय आम जाणी एक्सेस नहींचु कि बड़ी पड़ो ताकू जाल धरवा टाइट्रेसन हो जाल तो आमर एन एच रिलीमोल है 
ट्वेंटी इंटू पॉइंट वन टू मिलीमोल एनएस से टाइट्रेसन कंज्यूम हो कौन रिएक्शन टा एस टू एसओ फोर बैलान्स कले टू एन एओ एच गिवस एन ए टू एसओ फोर प्लस वाटर टू वाटर सो एन एओ एच और सल्फ्रिक एसीड रोल रिलेसनसीप हूँ टू इज टू वन तो दुई मोल रे एक मोल टू टा वा तो अबियली टू मिलीमोल डेटा टू मिलीमोल तेनाली मिलीमोल सल्फ्रिक एसीड खाई खाऊ तले पांच मिलीमोल सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड तार डबल मिलीमोल दब के टेन मिलीमोल एमोनिया निश्चय बाहर थी से अर्गानिक कंपाउंड रु जो नाइट्रोजेन थी से टेन मिलीमोल निश्चय बाहर तो चल बर्तमान टेन मिलीमोल को मास रे कन्वर्ट कर फास्ट टाइम पर मिली को मार्टा लेख सारे विल आई गो टू दिन एक्सप्रेस Yes, sir. Yes, sir. जबरदस्ती गेधे पे डर सब एंजय कर सो मोटो निज मन रु आस गए डाक्तर हो लोक रोग भल कर लोक नुआ जीवन देवी तो देन इट्स ए गुड थिंग अच्छा कौन है मास ऑफ मास ऑफ एमोनिया बाहर करवा टेन मिलीमोल को टेन मिली मान हजार हर पड़ो मिली मर मान हजार एमोनिया मोलार मस हूँ सतर तेल के बाहर ला सतर ब गोटे सुन शहे मैंने जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवेन ग्राम एति आमोनिया बाहर किंतु आम जाचे आम नाइट्रोजेन दरकार सतर ग्राम आमोनिया रे अच्छी चौदह ग्राम नाइट्रोजेन ताल जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवेन ग्राम आमोनिया रे अच्छी यार शहे भाग रु भागे यार शहे भाग रु भागे जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर ग्राम अफ नाइट्रोजेन सो एति निश्चित भाव में वन पॉइंट आम ओरिजिनल कंपाउंड थी वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम जो वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम ओरिजिनल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड कंटेन्स एति नाइट्रोजेन अल्टीमेटली एति ग्राम नाइट्रोजेन टा ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड रे बाहर ला नाइट्रोजेन सो दिस मच ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड कंटेन्स जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर ग्राम ऑफ नाइट्रोजेन आउ बाकी तो कार्बन अच्छी हाइड्रोजेन अच्छी अक्सीजेन अच्छी आउ जहाँ जहाँ अच्छी वी डोट बदर आमको नाइट्रोजेन रसेंटेज पचार ताले 100 ग्राम कंटेंट्स के जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर बै वन पॉइंट फोर इंटु हंड्रेड के टेन परसेंट ये मस परसेंट परसेंटेज कंपोजिशन मान से मस परसेंट सो कि सल्यूसन जब मस परसेंट दे नेखि न मैंने इट मीन भल्यूम परसेंट दो कंपोजिशन रे इट इज ऑलवेज मास परसेंट सो टेन परसेंट बाय मास नाइट्रोजन अच्छी से ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड रे इज इट नॉट इजी इज इट डिफिकल्ट नो सर सो यू थॉट इट इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज़ इट इज प्लेस्ड इन अ वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग मैनर मिक्युवेलेंट कांसेप्ट जदि प्रथमे गोटे इंस्ट्रक्टर दे दबो स्टूडेंट्स विल बी कंप्लीटली कंफ्यूज्ड so i never ever introduce equivalent concept in the beginning but gote just an, as an ornament as an ornament supposing by chance a gote ko parikhare normality dei dala n capital n seta to how to approach the no seta ko janiwa pai mu kahe but little later is very simple just to convert normality to molarity by just dividing by the n factor or the valency factor so कौपाई कौ भैलेन्स फैक्टर टा से आज तुमको जापर
So it is the last one which I am leaving you on this one. Uh, you will uh, you can do it. Um, it's a very interesting problem. Uh, no, it doesn't work. It does, does not work. It is easy. This is an easy one. But you have to write down uh, an accurate solution of KIO3. It has a mass. It is a solution. It has a mass. doesn't matter. Was titrated with an excess of KI solution. So that the solution was acidified with HCl, of course. The liberated iodine is through iodine barla. Consumed 45 ml of thiosulfate, when sodium thiosulfate solution to decolorize the blue starch. The starch is the is the is the indicator here. It makes the solution blue, and when the end point comes, the blue color vanishes. So uh, to vanish the decolorize the blue color, it needs 45 ml of thiosulfate solution. Calculate the molarity of the thiosulfate solution is very simple. Now, only thing you will be needing that what is the reaction? How to know what is happening when you add KiO3 with Ki in place of in presence of HCl? And it is saying that iodine is released. So one of the products is iodine. The other you can guess because the medium is acidic containing chloride ion. So the salt is KCl plus water. Hydrogen and oxygen will give you water. So only the three products are iodine. You can guess, make a wild guess because the solution is acidic, having chloride ion as the medium. So II will go out. This is a comproportionation reaction where iodine from plus five to zero and minus one to zero. The opposite of this proportionation is comproportionation and that you, know, you can balance it. Can you balance it? Try to balance it. This is an ordinary redox reaction. Iska change isme multiply karo. Iska change usme or multiply karo. So then you can go for heat and trial method to find the coefficients. Anyone? Yes, Kornhalama balance a balani om Krishna. The bet over more jiba matic zin. I may six pack could develop your rochi. Ketela, Rudra Goila. Uh, sir, hello, ji. KiO3 plus 5Ki huh. uh, plus 6HCl huh. to 3I2 huh. plus 6KCl huh. plus 3H2. Hello, look plus 5 pro gola 0. Ko. Change la 5, it's a 5 multiply. Hala. It a minus 1 ru 0. Ko. Change la 1, to 1 to lekha jai ni. Then hit and trial. That's some of the Ridhi Sidhi. Dr. Ridhi, Dr. Sidhi. Well, it would be doctor. You are a surgeon. Dolly Bunny. Surgery. Um, girls man, usually surgery. Neon Dini. There are data disadvantage. You know, surgery needs a lot of uh, strength. And nature has given more brain power to girls, but less muscle power to girls. So they may not be suitable with Pentike Jim Jibako body. And moreover, you know, majority of uh, patients they will prefer male surgeons for some reason or the other. Therefore, many girls they do not opt for surgery. I am not talking of gynecology. That is 
an exclusive department of girls. But nowadays you find 50-50 mm, boys and girls are entering into gynecology department. So what I'm saying is, a reaction to Jani Ole, I was with a kitchen. I'll sodium thousand put a reaction to Mukorduji. So many Jeg Horeta Koribo. Put the Koro. And uh, okay, that will be the end. Sodium and, and POSC Koribi. Don't, don't worry. I would in Joe Baharila, first reaction, read a multiple reaction, two step reaction. I would in good reaction, Prothomo reaction, Rebaharila. Taku Konti, Iodometry. Joe reaction, I would in Bahare. ताको कहंती आयोडोमेट्री आ जो रिएक्शन रे आयोडीन कंज्यूम हे जाय ताको दी आयोडी मेट्री सो दिस इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड आयोडोमेट्री आयोडी मेट्री एंड दैट इज डन फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट सम अननोन थिंग इन दिस केस द अननोन थिंग इज द मोलारिटी ऑफ थायोसल्फेट दैट हैज बीन यूज्ड इन सम अदर केस प्यूरिटी परसेंटेज ऑफ प्यूरिटी सम थर्ड आई मीन इन दिस केस द फर्स्ट वन uh, reaction will be involving some impure sample which will be producing iodine and that iodine will be consumed by uh, this one but in this case it is known in the other case it will be unknown impure sample mass will be given or the molarity and volume will be given and the molarity of the thiosulfate will be given and from backside attack gorilla attack you find what is the amount of the pure substance and then find the percentage of purity. They're all very interesting. And this will be Na2S4O6 sodium tetrathionate plus NaI. Uh, can you tell me what is the change in oxidation number? May it be average. May it be average. You know, uh, I don't say uh, you need to uh, open the structure, Lewis structure and say which sulfur has which oxidation number. No. For stoichiometric calculation, you can go by the average by using the formula. Sanbi, you are existing. This speaks volume of your capacity. Otherwise, you would not have existed till now. It's not that easy, you know. But well, when I, I teach a beginner in a usual way as his coach, I don't follow this method. This method I adopt only to test. Test. And you guys have passed. And if you are at Katak, you can take my direct help. And if you are outside Katak, you can take my indirect help. So, Mr. Krishna. Sir, I would enter, sir, 0 to minus 1 could reduce. Sir, 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 Eighty sulfur thiosulfate to plus two eighty average value of two point five. So there has been an increase. This is oxidation and this is reduction. Now to balance this, there is no need of any Owen method. Just he, heat and trial method will make you balance uh, much more uh, economically. So simply multiply by two here. So S four O six he gala chatta sodium. So it is theta sodium achi two NaI he gala I two two two. That's it. I think it's plus two plus two point five gala point five change hala gote atom picha dit atom ku one one eighty koriba iodine zero ru one gala one change hala dita ku two two eighty asila kohon dorkar kolebi kakata asiwa. So with these two equations, the knowledge of these two equations, I want you to solve this two step reaction. Then you, you can try this one also. And you'll try this one also. I have given you the answer. And also so give you the solution also. Solution file is also there, but you are not asking anything. Um, also, I am not very serious about it. Why you are not asking? Because I told you, just join for fun. If you are understanding, if you are taking the charm of uh, attending my classes, my, my this motivational program, then that is also okay. No need uh, to uh, solve problem. If you are not getting time or you are not getting mood to do so, do that. 
you can try and uh, the last but not the least is eta ta ji kholilani mote khata the pos concept ke gota ke thila of course mote time out ke milthile mu tumku idiometry re volume analysis ta mu kahi dei chi gelu sax lo lagibo kintu au di chatta volume analysis ro problem to find out uh, the composition of a gaseous mixture to find out the molecular mass of a hydrocarbon or any organic compound uh, by eudiometry you are exploding with excess of oxygen getting carbon dioxide water and uh, you are cooling it uh, water is eliminated from the scene and then you are given what is the volume compression contraction that has happened and then uh, the remaining carbon dioxide will be soaked with alkali to remove it and then what is the next phase volume contraction that is the same as the volume of carbon dioxide and if some residual volume remains that is nothing but excess oxygen and from all these data you can find out uh, whether the composition of a gaseous mixture or uh, the molecular mass uh, sorry molecular formula of the hydrocarbon so that you can you can i'll give you the file you can understand with this much of uh, you know attending my motivational program you can understand anything and everything pos concept is principle of atom conservation this is the conservation of mass which means in a reaction the mole is not conserved by chance in some reaction mole may be conserved for example if i say uh c2h2 plus oxygen the one we did yesterday you balance this this is 2 uh this is a 2 this this is a 5 by 2 this is this 2 5 4 2 now see the number of moles of the reactant total is 7 the number of moles of the product is 6 so moles will not be conserved may not be conserved but atoms will be conserved moles of atoms or the atoms the number of atoms they are bound to be conserved see number of moles of carbon is 2 2 is a 4 this is 4 number of moles of hydrogen atoms is 2 2 is a 4 2 2 is a 4 Number of moles of oxygen is 5 to the 10. This is 4 to the 8 plus 2, 10. So that is called principle of atom conservation. That is very elegantly used when you are given a series of reactions. I'm giving you an example. Supposing you are given calcium phosphate. And a series of reactions will be given. And they will be giving you what are the products to confuse you. But your interest is to see that phosphorus is the only element that is found in one of the products. Not it is disproportionated to two different products, then POAC concept is not applicable. If phosphorus remains in one compound, here there may be two products, A plus B, but phosphorus remains in one compound. This is C plus D, phosphorus remains in one compound. Finally, you are getting phosphorus. The ultimate synthesis that you are getting, manufacture of phosphorus from calcium phosphate, may be in multiple reactions. So, once you know that the element is retained throughout in one product, one of the products in every step, then the atom conservation from first to last will be there. So, just phosphorus, there are two phosphorus here. Here's four. So you have to multiply by two so that number of phosphorus atoms or number of moles of phosphorus atoms will be two twos are four and here four. That means the molar relationship is two moles for one mole. So then you can uh, put the data, phosphorus uh, data dethile, from a back where kete calcium phosphate ni ji, or the calcium phosphate de ji kete mole ba kete gram phosphorus hava se bhi bhaar jiba. So, e data guda ka khali dhe ichi tamu dhekhi vaku jhe phosphorus ta jho gola se gutte gutte product re gola. Disproportionation hele au ee 
POAC concept use haboni. POAC concept is is as uh, true as the humanity itself, the universe itself. But it would not be applicable for such kinds of problems. The both would have a problem simplify hai jai, a POAC concept re, jo to just to um, see the first and last and then equalize the element. I am equalizing the phosphorus element. I am not interested in calcium because phosphorus is a, is a part of calcium phosphate. So definitely two moles of calcium phosphate so that four moles of phosphorus will be definitely giving four moles of phosphorus here, atoms. So with this, we conclude uh, the five day motivational camp. So there is no need of extension because uh, I will be celebrating um, Eid. I am trying to go on Facebook live tomorrow at 1 p.m. and uh, uh, to celebrate Eid because for me, every religion is same. If you are obsessed with one religion, then you find difference. We are not. Sabka Malik ek hai. Bye-bye. And of course, since it is a video, you, you, uh, you guys uh, are watching. You means any, anyone who is watching. If you are, if have found the videos interesting, motivational, really as designed, then why you are hesitating to uh, not to subscribe my channel? Do subscribe to my channel, SST Chemistry, so that uh, it will be a motivation to this uh, young man of 17 years to create more videos for you. And as for your requirement, you can also have uh, the, the, the uh, right to tell me, sir, you prepare a video on this topic so that you may not attend my direct classes, but you can watch my videos later and take the benefit. And also many others will take the benefit if I have not created a video on a particular topic, but you will find uh, videos um, on, on most, most of the uh, important topics in class 11. Class 12, I uh, have not completed all the videos. I'm in the process of doing that. Any question? Anything you want to say before I close? Rudra. I guess sir. Tame to gote. Tame bhoni doctor hobo, tame par engineer hobo? Nice sir, scientist. Say doctor ho? Nice sir, scientist. Scientist, ha, scientist. Jaha engineer se ya. Engineering mind mane, se khoji bo khali. Se nuwa jin se sabu khoji bo. I'm not talking of engineer becoming IT. IT professional, so that is not engineering. IT you will be a servant to some multinational company and you will be doing just a bookkeeping thing, whatever little, uh, I mean, programming that you know, maybe HTML or whatever that you will be using to, to make programs for clients. And you will be uh, a, a, a great guy like you will be completely frustrated, monotonous, you'll feel monotonous after continuing for few years. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.